Hello, my awesome and amazing Virgos. It's Mellow Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Bonus reading for the week. Today is Monday, July 17th of 2023. New moon in the sign of Cancer. Let's see what Cancerian energy is bringing in your direction, Virgo. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number 10. Power of number six. And power of number four. Okay. Adding up the numbers brings us to the power of number 20. Looks like there could be a judgment call headed in your direction, Virgo. Where somebody has made a judgment call on you and or spirit could be pushing you out of your comfort zone to go the distance, make a certain choice. Um... This can also be somebody trying to come back from the past in order to reconcile. They could come back begging, crying, sobbing, asking for that forgiveness. So we'll see. Going to the power of number 20, you could be dealing with um, a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Aries energy, again, very strongly through the power of number zero <clears throat> and also number one. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. With the number one, you could be dealing with a Capricorn and or an Aquarius born in January. But Aries energy and also Gemini. And Virgo energy can also come through the number one because of the magician. Very strong Scorpio and Aries energy again through the number 16. Sagittarius, a Sagittarius energy coming in through the number 14. Pisces through the number 12. Scorpio energy again through number 20. And you could be dealing with a fixed sign. Power of number 21, the world card. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or a Scorpio. Hmm. So... Let's see what number 20 is bringing in for the beautiful star sign of Virgo. New moon in the sign of Cancer for Monday, July 17th of 2023. And 20. Okay, there we go. Trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Virgo need to know? Show me what's up. Sign of Scorpio coming in. Scorpio. Well, you you must be dealing with the Scorpio for some of you. There's going to be an ending. Either endings to old karmic patterns and cycles. This could also be an ending to a relationship connection that needs to happen in order for a better romantic partnership to come through. This could be a revitalization, maybe a whole new life makeover, Virgo. You could be looking at life very differently. You're getting ready to charge ahead towards something that is important to you. It could be that phoenix rising up out of the ashes right now. Ready to say goodbye to something I feel that no longer serves your highest good. 
Okay. You could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be seeking balance right now in your work and your romantic life right now, Virgo. Somebody is in love with you, <clears throat> or you could be deeply in love with someone in particular. You could be contemplating going on maybe a spiritual retreat, picking up on Sedona, Arizona. For some of you, you could live in Sedona. Some of you Virgos need to drink more water. You're not hydrated enough. I feel it's about balance. Your belief system may be tested right now. But somebody is in love. Somebody wants to revitalize a connection with you. Could be a Leo. The Sun card. It is something about rejuvenation here. A life makeover. Your health, your wealth, your prosperity, your abundance is going to increase, possibly over the summer of 2023 as well. So place these intentions, whatever it is that you are seeking, Virgo, place that intention out there, speak it out into existence. Don't say, I want, I need, because that will represent lack. Because the emotion <clears throat> behind saying, I want, I need, shows an anxiety. It, it's a feeling of anxiety. It's a feeling of desperation. No, a command to the universe, command to the universe now that everything of my highest good is headed in my direction. I am on the right path towards health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance in all areas of my life. So some form of rejuvenation, please wear your sunscreen. You could be spending a lot of time outdoors so protect your skin. Some of you could be very fair complected. And the sun card can also bring in marriage proposals and sometimes even reconciliations sign of Libra coming in somebody wants to speak their truth or the truth will get revealed between now and the full moon in the sign of Aquarius during the season of Leo on August 1st of 2023 you could come out winning something in the legal system Four of Wands, Twin Flames, Soulmate, 1111 Connection. There is marriage on the board here. Somebody's thinking about marriage with you, or you're seeking marriage with a particular person. But right now, your life needs to get balanced. Your root chakra and your sacral chakra could be a little bit off balance. Too many irons in the fire right now. A lot of new beginnings I'm picking up here, especially through the death card. There's going to be an ending and a rebirth. Rejuvenation of body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit. Plus, provided if you're also putting the work, the energy work into your awareness, your consciousness, focusing in on peace, peace and tranquility, you may want to consider going to get a body massage, maybe go to a spa, 
go sit in one of them mud baths, detoxify. Something about your energy levels getting back up and running again, especially again, like I said, if you've had a lot of irons in the fire, Some of you could be battling going back to the gym. You're wasting all of that membership money and maybe only go once a month or once every three months. That's money down the tubes. If you're going to make it and you're going to go and you're going to get that kind of body that you want, you have to be consistent. But there's something here about foundation or somebody's coming in with a marriage proposal. <clears throat> Virgo, here you are, the hermit, doing a lot of thinking. Thinking about where your life has been, the things that you have accomplished, what you're currently doing right now, and who knows, maybe where do you see yourself in a year from now? You set your intentions correctly. Get the right mindset. Keep taking action. Keep taking affirmative action on the things that you can take action on. And things will start to boom, boom, boom. The King of Swords. Mental clarity. A lot of you Virgos can have some strong Libra, <clears throat> Libra in your birth chart. Somebody's going to be speaking very directly to you. Direct communication, Knight of Wands. Somebody from your past could be coming in, a person that could have been very in and out of your life, Virgo. But this could be a celebration, like I said, a life, a life makeover. Do things need to be switched or changed within your home? You could be moving to a new home. You could be trying to work with a realtor right now. Find yourself a house. If you're working a lot, Spirit's also saying it's time to let loose, go out and play and have some fun as well. So, let's see. That's what the Knight of Wands is bringing in. It's a choice. You have some choices. You have some decisions to make. Somebody definitely could be coming back from your past, Virgo. Think things through. You could have been waiting for a very long time for this person to make communication. But right now, focus in on you. Whole new life makeover. And do it a little bit at a time. You need to go switch your hairstyle up? Go switch your hairstyle up. Gotta go get your nails done? Get your nails done. Go to a spa. Go out to the park. Get involved with the community if you want to. Anything to rejuvenate your spirits. To go through another major transformation. You've got some good, strong, solid energy. Somebody wants to come in and bring you real commitment. But you could be highly concerned right now that this person is going to play you. Or that they're going to lie to you again. So still, in the beginning stages, when this person comes back, yes, proceed with caution. Examine what it is that they're trying to say to you. If they want to meet up with you, don't have them come over to your house. Go out and meet them in a public place. Maybe have a sit-down chat. This person could automatically, out of nowhere, come in and say, I'm in love with you. I want this to work out. And for those of you who don't want this person back from the past, I feel like this could end up being a new soulmate, a new partner. But getting your mindset right, because a lot of you are just really thinking right now. A lot of you have been in tumultuous, toxic relationships, karmic relationships with a karmic partner. 
and you're still not, you know what I mean? And you may still not be getting what it is that you desire. So my awesome and amazing Virgos, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.